this quick Tech in 10 is going to show you how to create print-based activities in BoardMaker 7. BoardMaker's video is attached to my document as well. This is a watered-down version just to get you going, and then you can get more in-depth with features as you get used to the product. Remember, BoardMaker 7 is now going to be installed on your computer in the near future to use. Click on it, then it'll ask you to log in with your account. If you're on a shared device or a shared computer, make sure you're logging in and out as you go so you're on the right account because it will automatically upload to your online account as well to save the activity. Remember, in the previous video, we looked at what all these different tabs mean and do, um, but for purposes of this, we're just going to focus on clicking New to create a print activity. Now you can create blank print activities or go to Printable here where you'll find all the template options. We're going to start first by looking at blank landscape and hit create. This will open the interface that you're used to with BoardMaker. You have your main working space here. You have your page panel here where you can add pages, you can duplicate pages, etc. You have your properties and symbols over here, and then you have your menu at the top. Again, we're going to look at the basics of just getting started with this, but obviously there's much more in here that you may choose to use and that I'll cover in future tutorials. We're doing a print-based blank landscape activity, so I'm going to add a button to my page just like you would before. I'm going to spray that button, and now I have four buttons on my page. Let's add some symbols to these buttons. Remember, you can get symbols one of two ways. The first thing I'm going to do it is click on the box to get that blue fence around it and start typing. When I hit enter, it brings me to my symbols and I can simply click on it, select it, and put it in my box there. To do that again, make sure my box is highlighted with the blue fence, start typing, hit return, select my symbol, and put it on the page. Remember, you can also find images from the web. So if I type in science, hit enter, I can simply go to the web here and find images from the web. This is no different than BoardMaker Online. That'll populate pictures and I can do the same thing. If I have pictures on my computer, simply hit from file and that will bring in the pictures from your computer into the activity. I'm going to select for purposes of this, this science one for now, and put it in my page. A couple things before I show you a couple other things is remember once you have the box highlighted properties opens up over here you can change the border size of your box you can change the font of the labels uh, you can do any sort of number of things um, I kind of like this right here if you wanted the picture or the words on the top it switches it like that or to the side you can do that um, depending on your activity that comes functional that's in there as well. So anytime you have your button highlighted, this will open up on the side. Remember, I can also add symbols. Instead of typing in place, I can just hit symbols over here, and I could type. So if it was OT, I can then just drag it in to my button just like that. So really no different than what you're used to with the BoardMaker Online right now with ways to add to your buttons on your page. I'm going to add one more button just to show you a couple of new search, search features. So let me get rid of that. I like that they have pre-populated folders already here. So if you were doing a bingo or a sorting activity on animals or clothing, you just click the folder and then you have a lot of things already in here that you don't have to think of on your own. They're already pre-categorized in the symbol library. If I search something like cat and I hit enter, I can change my criteria. So I could have the whole word, which will give me just their pictures of cat, ends with, which you're not going to find too many for cat, anywhere gives you like cat collar, cat bowl, or begins with. Same thing if I put a word like house, I could do that as well. But I also have this arrow down here where I can hit rhymes with and it'll give me words that rhyme with it or patterns or sounds like, which is great for a language therapist or just general classroom use as well. 
So that's a number of different ways you can search now within the symbols while you're in BoardMaker 7 editor. So again, to create a simple print-based activity that's blank, you just go to New, select Portrait or Landscape, and drag your buttons and put in your symbols as you would. Now, this is going to be repeated and is very important in the new board maker. When you make an activity, you must go to File, Save As, or Save, depending on what you're doing. If it's new or something you've edited, I'm just going to do minus test three, because this will save to a folder on your computer. It'll save inside your editor, but it will also upload it to the internet um, board maker online where that logs into your account, so you have the cloud storage there as well. So make sure you save the activity. Once you save it, if it's a print-based activity, BoardMaker now has Create PDF built right into BoardMaker's software. Click Create PDF, select Open after creating, and select Create. And then it gives you a PDF that's ready to print or use, just like that. I love that feature. A couple of the other things just to note is that up here is your undo and redo buttons as usual. Um, and then when you want to get back to your main editor page, you can select Return to Dashboard. But don't do this until you're sure you saved your activity. It will prompt you, but just good practice to get used to saving on the new BoardMaker editor. So when I return to Dashboard, I'll be brought back to my page that looks like this. And you'll notice my recent activities are mostly test activities that I've done. So we went to New, Blank, and then we did Blank Landscape next thing I want to show you is still along the lines of a new printable activity. Click New, click Printable, and this will open my templates. This is another thing you're familiar with, are templates just like in BoardMaker Online. There's hundreds of templates. You can search by category, just search up here by typing stuff in. Um, but the new thing I want to show you is you can create now from a sample template. This is kind of like finding something in the BoardMaker community that you like and that you want to edit a couple things and then save it as your own. But now you can do it with the sample template from BoardMaker Online, which is really cool. So for purposes of this, let's go to Communication. Let's find the Note Home. And instead of hitting Create, which would give me a blank one with only a few things in there, I'm going to select it from the sample. And check this out. It gives me a sample Note Home that's already populated. Why would I want this? Well, the first reason for something like this is most likely you're going to keep some of these things in here. You're going to keep some of these feeling or how your day was words. You're going to probably keep some of the activities in here. Um, you're probably going to keep some of the main structure of it that you would also find in the blank template. But now you don't have to recreate all of these things. If you have five students in your class, go to your page panel, duplicate this five times. And in under 30 seconds, you already have a skeleton filled in activity that you are almost ready to use. Now, if you want to edit this, you can absolutely edit this activity. If, for instance, the student does not have art that day, but they have PE, let's click, make sure I see my fence around there. I'm going to type PE and hit enter, find my gym PE picture, let's choose this one and then put it in and I just edited this activity and I'm making it my own. Say the student didn't have music, I'm clicking that and I'm going to start typing. I'm going to put reading, hit enter, select, and there is my reading. So I changed these two. If I want to change the picture up here, I can make sure it's highlighted with my fence and hit enter and then remember I can search from my file on my computer and find a picture of the student and put it in there as well. This is no different than BoardMaker Online, but I just want to review it because I think it's a good review. Once you're done changing the pieces in the sample, now the activity is yours. Go to File, Save As. I'm going to do Test 4 just because these are all test activities. I'm going to save it. And now remember here, the Create PDF, if I wanted to print these out, hit Create PDF. I can select the page range as well. I can do Open After Creating, and just like that, I have a PDF of my activity ready to go from editing from a sample. Check that out really cool. I'm super excited about that because it will save a ton of time for those 
notes home for the daily schedules for the token economy type things that you may change one or two things but the general structure is always the same and then just like always it's saved I can then return to my dashboard which will take me out of the main editor page and bring me back to my starting point dashboard here and then you'll notice that activity right there so so far we have looked at how to create a new blank printable activity we have looked at how to create a new printable from a template sample, which is new for BoardMaker 7 Editor, which I love because it's going to save you a ton of time. And then the last thing is, again, in your printable templates, because we're looking at printable things today, we're going to go down and select to create just from a template. Remember, the templates are great starting points. It tells you, shows you where to put things. It gives you the structure so you don't have to create everything on your own. Um, so for purposes of this, let's look at this 2021 calendar here. So I'm going to hit create. And it gives you the template here for your calendar. Now, what I love about the templates is obviously you then don't have to make this from scratch, which could take a long time, making all the boxes, adding the numbers, putting the days of the week, finding the images for the days of the week. BoardMaker also populates for you the holidays in here, which is great. And then you can now simply take this and edit it for your needs. So let's say on January 13th, there was a field trip. Select the box by clicking on it, start typing, hit enter or return, find your picture, and then you can customize your calendar just like that. Let's do it again with an image from the web. Let's go here. Let's start typing um, cooking class, hit return. Let's go to the web and see if we can find any cooking class images or images of cooking instead of doing the board maker symbol for that. Take any of these, select them, and put them into our calendar again. So now we are individualizing or customizing this template for our needs you can add multiple symbols to a box as well. So say there's no school on Friday the 15th. Let's put no school. I'm going to put the school picture first just to show you how you can add multiple symbols, but I can obviously select the no school picture. And so say I also wanted to add a no symbol in there. Let's just type no. I'm going to drag that in and it's going to ask me do I want to replace what's in there or add to it? Well I want to add to it. There it is. And I can resize it how I want to, put it right over there, no school. So again, it's the same editing you could do in BoardMaker online, but just a reminder of what you can do. So again, this is doing a new printable activity from a template, not a sample of a template, just a template, which has the structure in place that then you can add to, so you don't have to recreate the wheel. Okay. And again, to add symbols, just like before, you can click the box and start typing. select and there's your image goes in there already I could do the same thing with a web image just click there select web instead drag a web image into that box or I can click on the box go to symbols over here and search over here as well and then just drag it on it so those are my multiple ways of adding symbols to the calendar. Now, as you recall from before, the first thing I need to do is to save as. So you want to save that on your computer. Once it's saved, then I can go back to remember and it can create my PDF. If I just wanted to print January, I just say the current page. Create my PDF just like that it's ready to print I love that love 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 how nice is that and once that's done I can return to my dashboard so again this video although it went a little over 10 minutes is a watered-down version of board makers training showing you how to create new printable activities from the new board maker editor software you can click new blank activities print activities or you can select the printable 
in search or find through categories all of the different templates. Then you can select from a sample where a lot of stuff's filled in that you can then change to meet your needs, or from a blank template which already has the structure in place that then allows you to add to before you save it, download it as a PDF to print, and then return to your dashboard. Again, this is a learning experience for the transition, but I hope this video was helpful and get you thinking about it, what you're going to see when you open up the new software. I'm always available to help. I hope this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.